College of Education, CLSU. Today's event is a part of our celebration to the CLSU's 115th founding anniversary with the theme, Continuing, Continuing Legacy for a Sustainable University. Students, guests, alumni, faculty members, I welcome you to the said testimonial lecture organized by the College of Education Alumni Relation Office Coordinators and of course is sponsored by University Gender and Development Office. Let us prepare ourselves as we participate, interact, and grow in this lecture. Dahil mamaya po ay meron din po tayong mga pasurpresa para sa ating mga participants sa ating Zoom, ganun din po sa ating Facebook Live. So stay tuned, be attentive, and of course, ang pinaka-importante, enjoy. We have two powerful, intelligent speakers for this event, and I'm sure that we are all excited to hear from them. To formally start our program, let us come to the Lord through a doxology prepared by the Central Zone State University Maestro Singers to be followed by the singing of the National Anthem.
All right, thank you so much. Moving on from our program for his opening remarks, may I call in the competent and ever supportive acting dean of the College of Education, Dr. Rehidor G. Gaboy. Bigyan nga po natin ng isang virtual heart ang ating dean from the College of Education. Alright, saglit lamang po dahil meron lamang pong technical difficulty. All right. Habang hinihintay po natin ang pagsasalta ng ating din, may I remind may I remind everyone na i-download po ninyo ang ating virtual background na nasa ating chat box para sa ating mga participants na nasa Zoom because we we encourage or we will require you to open your cameras later on. Actually, dapat naka-open ng ating mga cameras para makita natin ang isa't isa. Ayan, so please download our virtual background na nasa ating chat box. And of course, sa ating mga participants na nasa Facebook live stream, provided na po ang link ng ating registration uh, registration form. So pwede na po kayo magsimula na mag-fill uh, uh, fill out sa ating pong registration link. And of course, provided na rin po ang ating evaluation link na nasa ating chat, chat box. Ipaprovide din po natin ito sa ating comment section sa ating Facebook live stream maya-maya. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Rehidor G. Gaboy. To our alumni relations coordinators, to our esteemed guests for today, department heads, fellow faculty members of our dear College of Education, students, Friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are fortunate today because we will be joined in by two alumni of our college who have been excelling in the field of education. Mr. Michael M. Aquino, a Bachelor of Secondary Education graduate in 2001, and Dr. Michelle T. Jaime, an elementary education graduate in 2003 and a PhD graduate in 2021. Indeed, their success in the field of education is a living manifestation that our graduates were honed and prepared with utmost relevance and needed competencies to succeed in the profession. We are indeed thankful for their presence and we hope that their stories would inspire you, dear students, to be the best educators that you can become in the future and who will also be the pride of our dear CLSU College of Education, a center of, of excellence for teacher education. Uli, Magandang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. All right, thank you so much Dean. Maraming salamat sa nakaka-inspire na inyo pong mensahe. Now let us proceed with the main course of our event. Wag na po nating patagalin pa. And allow me to introduce to you our first testimonial lecturer. Ayan. Our first testimonial lecturer was born on April 5, 1982. Ayan, before po pala ako mag-start, uh, hinihiling ko po ang ating mga estudyante na inyo pong i-download ang ating virtual background sa ating pong chat box. Gamitin po natin ito as we are going to use this at i-open po natin ang ating camera during the, live st uh, during the uh, testimonial lecture event para po makita po tayo ng ating alumni na magsasalita. Now, now bago, po, bago ko po introduce sa inyo ang ating first testimonial lecturer, meron po tayong trivia questions later on. So please listen carefully as I introduce to you our first testimonial lecturer. Ayan. So our first testimonial lecturer was born on April 5, 
1982, she finished her elementary and secondary education at Munoz North Central School and Munoz National High School, respectively. As a loyal alumna, she finished three degree programs in CLSU, namely Bachelor of Elementary Education in 2003, Master of Science in Education in 2016, and Doctor of Philosophy in Development Education this year. She worked as a classroom teacher from 2003 until she was promote, promoted as head teacher one in Mapangpang Elementary School, Villa Santos Elementary School from 2014 to 2017, and principal one at Curva Elementary School from 2018 to 2020. At present, she holds the position of principal two at Villa Nati Elementary School. She is happily married to Mr. Edinar Jaime, with whom she has one daughter named Shahira. Ladies and gentlemen, our first testimonial lecturer, Dr. Michelle Tenhoko Jaime. Bigyan po natin ng virtual clap ang ating first lecture. Ayan. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Leiva. Good morning, Dr. Gaboy. Good morning to all the students. Dear students, um, let me share my screen sir, muna before I start. Ah, I disabled sir ang sharing the screen. Can I? Okay na po ma'am. Uh, per, uh, permission granted na po. Is it visible now? Ayun nga dumaki. Yes, ma'am. Visible na po. Again, good morning. Um, a journey to rem remember. I don't exactly sure if the title will fit my entire talk. Nevertheless, I'll be talking about my life experiences while at CLS. The setting context of those experiences would be likely different from yours because of the new normal way of living brought by the pandemic. But I hope after this session, I will be able to motivate and encourage you to finish the line towards graduation. And of course, with flying colors. I would like to start my talk by telling you something about myself, although I need to do something in certain um, Okay, about me. I'm a mother, that's the best role I played, a wife of Mr. Jaime, and a daughter of my mama, na matay na kasi father ko. A sister, a friend, I just had few set of friends, but thousands of friends on Facebook. A school head, a present here at Villanati Elementary School, and a student. We are all students, we are all learners of our everyday experiences. I na graduate na ako, I still consider myself as a student. We we will be continue to be student in this world as long as we live. And I'm a proud product of so sinasabi I'm a proud product of public schools from elementary to tertiary level. It was an advantage for me that it is that CLS is just five kilometers away from our home, two rides away, a tricycle and a jeep. If not, probably my parents can send me to college. Being a nurse is the profession I dream of. But because of financial constraints, it's not possible. Nevertheless, I opt to choose bachelor in elementary education as my other dream. May 5, 1999. What is the significance of that number to, my, to me, for me? That's the date of my scheduled enrollment. It was the first time to, to set my feet at CLSU. It was a brand new experience for me. Mahaba ang pila ng enrollment, maraming tao, a totally new environment, new faces, all were gathered to seek higher learning for better future. And I thought, this is it. I felt so blessed and proud of the opportunity na makakapagkulehiyo ako. Not all were privileged to get one. I committed to myself na makakayari ako 
para sa pamilya ko, para matulungan sa naman yung mga magulang ko. The only option I had in my mind then was makakagraduate ako. There's no other option. Makakagraduate ako. Yun lang. And that is called commitment. I committed myself to be to succeed. And that's for me and for my family. Just like me, commit yourself kasi nandiyan ka na. It's a mindset. And you know, mindset and constant prayers help me a lot to gain confidence and speak on my commitment. To my commitment. It also strengthened my faith and helped me gain positive outlook. You know, I remember, bago ko humawak ng ball pen para mag-exam, I made it sure na magpe-pray muna ako bago ko magsagot. But of course, bago naman ako nag-exam or mag-quiz or any assessment I take, nag-aaral ako. Nag-aaral naman ako. You know, vacant hours were spent in the library. I know to myself kung saan ako mahina, kaya naman, I want to learn more. I tried to explore CLSU Library, and then nagkaroon na ng College of Education Library. Nandun lang ako, kasi hindi pa naman uso yung Google noon. Lagi lang ako nandun, nagbabasa, gumagawa ng assignment, and flight. In that way, I was able to maximize my study time. I don't have budget naman para tumabay sa kantin. Wala din naman akong social media account na magkahati sa attention ko. So like I did for the four years in four years in college, puro aral lang talaga siya. Mas, you know, meron meron na rin prankster, kaya lang, wala naman akong budget for that. So wala rin ako naman. One tip I can give you as a student is to know yourself. Ako, alam ko sa sarili ko, hindi naman ako magaling. Alam, I'm average, average in most cases. Halo sa lahat ng skills, average. Sa so, matga below average pa ako eh. But I know, yung kasipagan ko ay more than average. And that means a lot. Daig nang masisipag ang matatalino. And that's already proven. Huwag niyo sasabihin na mahina lang kayo. Pag masipag kayo, kaya kayo. Minsan nga nag-iisip ako, yung mga classmates ko na matatalino, yung mga average ngayon, sila yung mga nakagraduate. Kasi masisipag kami. Ayun lang yun. You will realize that later on. Kusan ka mahina, develop yourself to be good at it. That aspect. By constant practice. Wala naman taong magaling agad. All, all went to a process. Even your professors were once a student. It is good na alam mo kung sino ka at ano ang kakayanan mo. But then, don't limit yourself to your own perception alone. Seek advice from your trusted person who can motivate you to strive harder and to achieve more, to dream more. Going back, during my freshman days, kasi ito talaga yung tumutak sa akin, in CLSU, I just have, until, until baka graduate ako ha, I just have 50 pesos allowance per day. 50 pesos. And that is for transportation and lunch. Hindi na kasi ako mag snack pa ako. Tapos, I have two pairs of jeans, five pieces of t-shirts, ginagawa ko siyang uniform, Monday to ano. Mahirap mag-aral, lalo na kung kulang ang budget. But these scenarios, actually, motivated me para mag-aral ng mabuti. I'm sorry. Always try, always try to see positive things in every negative situation. Parang minotivate ito, sabi ko sa sarili ko, pag ako talaga nakagraduate at ako'y nakapagtrabaho, bibili ko yung mga gusto kong damit. Ganun lang ako mga harap eh. Gusto kong damit, gusto kong sapatos, masaya, masaya na ako kung nabili ko yung gusto-gusto kong bagay. Ganun, ganun, lang, ganun lang naman ako, pero pinangarap na maging principal, makagraduate, wala yun. Pero yung determination ko and you know, sipag, eh, nag-uumapaw talaga siya. I encountered numerous struggles while in college. Pero hindi ako sumuko. I learned how to ignore problems kasi eventually aalis din yan. They will not linger. Perhaps that became my coping mechanism. To take things light. Wala akong masyadong siniseryosong problema. Aalis. Kung saan ko maalis yan, just like rain. That time, that time, nung college ako, wala mo lang nangiligo sa akin kahit isang. So, saan magkaroon ng significant others? You know, parang sarap maglakad sa CLSU before with, with someone na maglalakad. Kasi ang daming puna, di ba? 
Tapos, sabi ko sa nanay ko, Mama, bakit pala mo na naliligaw sa akin? Sabi niya, sabi niya, ayun pa, salamat nga daw ako kasi wala. True enough. Kasi sa dami ng struggles ko, sa family ko, family situation namin that time, baka nakipagtanan na lang ako. Okay ba? Kung ano, kung nagka-boyfriend ako noon, nagkasama na lang ako at hindi nakatapos. Then now I realize that that is God's protection. God is, that's God's protection pala. May mga nangyayari sa atin ngayon na hindi natin naiintindihan, but eventually, who will? On April 12, 2003, this is the date of my graduation. I finally graduated on the same year. I got my first job at Belkin Montessori. My focus then was magtrabaho so I can help my sister na nag-aaral. It was 2005 when I got permanent in public school. Kaya sa akapitin ko naman okay na kasi nakagraduate na ako ng college. I have permanent job na. Sabi ng mga ano ko, ng mga, according to my co-teachers, I had to study pa daw para for promotion. Until one of them convinced me na mag-aral ulit sa CLSU. This time, CLSU Open University. So I did. Akala ko it will be easy. But then, mas mahira palang mag-aral habang nagtatrabaho. Pero as usual, kailangan kayanin. Alam niyo ba, it took me 10 years bago makayari. Kasi bago ako mag-thesis writing, I shift my focus. I started to build my own family, nagpakasan, nagbahay, nagbaby. Pero at the back of my mind, lahat ko naiisip, kailangan ko makagraduate. Kasi sinimulan ko na, di ba? Lahat ko sinisimulan dapat, niyayari. Again, it's mindset and commitment. Like ko sinasabi, pagka-graduate ko, magpapalitsyo talaga ako. Kasi ang hirap talagang makagraduate sa CNS. In God's time, 2015, it's June 2, 2015. Nakayari din sa us. Yes, may lichon. This time, regalo naman. Regalo lang sa akin. That experience, ay lagi kong share sa mga teachers na, mga teachers ko na dalaga pa. Yariin mo nila yung master degree nila bago mag-asawa. Mabagal kasi talaga ang promotion sa mga walang postgraduate degree. Once you have it, it will open gates to promotion. And after ko makagraduate, I thought na magpahinga muna. Relax mode muna. But I opt to follow the recommendation of one of my mentors. Bakit ka magpapahinga? Ituloy-tuloy mo na. It was January 2016. Nag-enroll ako ulit. Social na this time, PhD. Opo. First time pa lang, parang ayoko na mag-enroll for the second sem. Imagine, nasusubukan namin, natulog kami ng 2 a.m. Tapos, sigising kami ng 5 a.m. ng Friday and Saturday. That's our routine for four years. Namin, bakit namin? Namin because I have bodies. Maghanap, mag, you, maghanap ka ng learning body mo na on your the same boat. It's easier to sail together than being alone. Surround yourself with the people or with the people you want to become or the people with the same interests. I, I want you to look at this picture, this very significant picture. At the center, ito yung ano ngayon, assistant regional director, naging SDS namin siya before. Kaming, kaming anin, galing kami lahat sa isang eskwelahan. All of us became school head. Sabay-sabay kami. Four of us graduated from CLSU. Lahat yan school head. Sila ma- mas matataas sa mga posisyon nila sa akin. Anyway, mas, mas ma-edit naman sila sa akin. That's, that's life. And these are my learning bodies. Kasi kung wala talaga sila, or kaya nga sasabi ko sa inyo, you find your learning bodies. Sila muli barkadahin nyo habang nag-aaral kayo. Huwag kayong bumarkada sa may, you know, I mean, I'm not underestimating, but bumarkada kayo sa kanila kasi yung mga na-achieve nila, yun, yun din yung gusto niyo ma-achieve in time. Nauna silang gumraduate sa akin actually. Okay. Ano ba yung realization sa lahat ng sinasabi ko na yun? From, from my college days to PhD. What I want you to realize that I want you to invest in yourself. Wala nga ako magandang bahay. You know, 
hindi na ako nag, wala akong alahas na maganda but I invested in my, sa sarili ko um, pagyamanin mo yung sarili mo sa pamamagitan ng pag-aaral everything will follow afterwards this is also called self-love na may kasamang torture every time na ngayon every time na magpaparang ako hindi na ako inakabahan kasi yung ranking for promotion hindi ako inakabahan kasi may bala na ako it's automatic may score na ako in terms of educational attainment but you know the most important lesson I learned is not on the subject per se you know magagaling ang mga professors it's given kaya ka nahihirapan tayo eh numilevel tayo pag natin sila na sila malalevelan kasi they are you know mas magagaling talaga sila but then it's not the subject they taught per se but it's but the values and the virtues that slowly develop along the process. I think that's the most important. You know, um, silent success is a sweet success. But um, these days, lahat na lang nang nangyayari sa buhay natin, nasa social media. I used to be, nung bago yung Facebook, excited, post ng post. Pero pag nagmamature ka na pala, you will realize what is the purpose of opening your life to others. I mean, celebrate, celebrate your success with the people who genuinely happy for your achievements. That's your family and that's your close friends. Celebrate your every little success. Nakapasa ka sa, sa exam, mataas ka na kuha mo, celebrate. May mga ganun lang. And don't forget, this is my last tip for you. Always to be grateful. Always be grateful. Grateful to God's provision. Be grateful to your parents, to your professors. Not all people were given a chance na makapag-aral. Nandyan na kayo, panindigan nyo na. At pagbutihin nyo na. Hindi madali, pero kakayanin. Lalo na sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Well, dropping this short talk, it made me realize na mas masarap pala tag lasape eh, ng tagumpay pag may pinagdaanan ka na hirap. Kaya if you feel na nahihirapan ka na, always remember it's part of the process to hone, to become birth, to become better. Okay, I want you to ponder on this question. What do you want to be to be doing 10 years from now? Ano yung nakikita niyo sa sarili niyo? Yeah. Let's pause and think of, you think of it. Nakikita nyo ba na mag-teacher kayo or graduate kayo, you're going to ship, whatever it is. It depends on your ability to get things done. You are in charge of yourself. No one but you. Hindi ako nakayari kasi ganito, ganito. No. You're already matured. Don't worry. Anyway, don't worry and think too much. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, that you don't have to see all the steps of a big staircase. You just have to take first steps to start climbing them. Okay. For that, I want to congratulate you, dear students. You are on the right path with the guidance of confident professors in this institution you will be molded to become quality graduates and an asset to society. Make sure you will become an asset to society na later on, you're going to pay taxes kasi pinag-aaral kayo ng gobyerno. You know, I hope a few years from now, you will be here and making fruitful testimonies about your experiences in our dear alma mater. Ang laki ng utang na loob ko sa Celesio. Talagang wala talaga kaming pera. Kung di tayo dito sa pag-aaral. Just like yun na dyan kayo, di ba? Lalo nga, before nga may binabayaran pa kami kahit paano. Ngayon, I, I think libre na kayo, di ba? So cherish that at pahalagahan nyo yung binibigay na yan sa inyo. An opportunity. Again, good morning. God bless on your journey. And thank you for listening. Yay! Yeah, bigyan nga po natin ng virtual heart.
si Ma'am Michelle, maraming maraming salamat po Ma'am Michelle. Napakaganda po ng inyo pong mensahe para po sa ating mga estudyante at maging sa mga alumni na nakikinig po ngayon sa ating Facebook live stream. At maraming maraming salamat po dahil marami kaming natutunan Ma'am. Una-una, napakaganda ng sinabi ni Ma'am about sa ano, uh, always be grateful and invest in yourself. Totoo po yun. And bilang alumni din po ng College of Education, totoo po na mas mas maganda na makita natin yung mga positibo at magagandang bagay sa buhay natin. Alright, to award the certificate uh, of appreciation, allow me to read the citation first. Uh, uh, bago po pala yan, dako na po tayo sa ating open forum. Ayan, so may I request everyone, mga students po natin na uh, nasa ating Zoom uh, meeting. Paki-open na po ang ating mga cameras. Dito na po dadako ang ating pagtatanong sa ating first uh, testimonial lecturer. Ayan, so sa atin pong mga sa atin pong mga sorry na mute pala ako sa ating live stream. Ayan, maraming salamat po ulit, Ma'am Michelle. Ayan, sa ating mga participants na nasa uh, Facebook live stream, ma-open na po ang ating open forum. Mag-start na po tayo. Pwede na po kayong magtanong sa ating comment section. At pwede rin yung mga uh, participants po natin sa Zoom, pwede na rin po kayong magtanong dahil mag-entertain po tayo ngayong umaga ng three questions. At sa tatlong ma-entertain na, na mga estudyante po, makaka-receive po kayo ng 100 pesos Gcash. Ayan, so uh, sabi ko nga po sa inyo kanina, maging participative, ta maging participative tayo sa ating event ngayon. So uh, pwede na po tayo magtanong. You may open your mics or open or just ask sa ating comment section, sa ating chat box. Ayan po. Alright, tinitignan ko po ang ating Facebook live stream. Wala pa pong uh, nagtatanong. Sa ating Zoom meeting, wala pa rin pong nagtatanong. After po ng ating open forum, meron po tayong two trivia questions para rin po sa ating mga estudyante. At kung kayo po ay matagumpay na at tumama ang inyo pong sagot, makaka-receive din po kayo ng 100 pesos Gcash. At gusto ko pong pasalamatan, i-acknowledge ang ating sponsor sa event po na ito, ang Gen University Gender and Development Office. Ayan. May question na po ba tayo from our... Okay, Ma'am Michelle, meron na pong isang question, dalawang question akong nare-receive. Ang una pong katanungan ay from Ina Colliado Alarcon ng BKED 4-1. Ang mga tanong po ay, any tips po sa magte-take ng board exam this September? Okay. Um, bago man nag okay. Thank you for the question. Nung nag-take ako na, based from my experience, nung nag-take kami ng li licensure examination for teachers, actually, nag-debut kami sa CELESU, but then, nagtuturo kasi kami sa BETBIN that time. Medyo talagang hirap na hirap kami sa schedule. Talagang, ano kasi din, kailangan workaholic ka. But one thing, I, I, one tip I can give you is to focus, give time for review, you know, isang nakatulong sa akin, hindi naman sa leto, sa principal exam. Kasi alam kong, ano eh, do, you know, the do or die, pag hindi ko ito nakuha, wala na. Parang ganun eh. Ang ginagawa, ang ginagawa ko nun, nagmigising ako ng 3 a.m. Tapos, tutulog ako ng 6 a.m. 6, 6, 6 o'clock. Ay, nagigising ako ng 3 a.m. matutulog ako ng 5. Tapos, ha, bago matulog, mag-review niya naman ako. I make I make sure na every day meron na akong bago. Meron na akong bagong alam. And then I don't rely on the reviewers alone. I search. Like search ako hindi pwedeng oh, yung you know, yung pinabasa lang siya na or oh, the answer is A, ganun. It's not like that. Ano to? Babasahin mo siya. You explore and then paulit-ulit madalas hindi ko naiintindihan pero Pag hindi naman siguro pinasa mo ng 10 ng more than 2 times, may itindihan mo na siya. But the, the, main, the, the main tip I can give is to focus kung ano yung gusto mo ma-achieve. Mag-focus ka lang for that. And give time. 
Kasi hindi lahat nga madali. Okay, thank you ma'am. Ayan. I hope na nasagot ni Ma'am Michelle Ina ang iyong katanungan. Uh, Paki-chat na lang sa akin ang iyong GCash number at ibibisi-send namin sa iyo mamaya ang iyong price. Ayan. Second question ma'am, sa ating Facebook live stream pa rin po dahil nauna po dito yung two questions natin at yung isang question po ay manggagaling sa ating Zoom meeting. Ayan. Second question po from James Pascual uh, Juan Singh. Nang Bised 3-3, ang katanungan ma'am ay, how do you handle stress and pressure? You know that, um, every, nung ano pa, college time pa, di ba na tibali, ang aking coping mechanism ay, I ignore, I ignore problem. You know, sa trabaho ko ngayon, lalo ngayon school head, napakadami stress. Pag nagpauna ka sa stress, mauna kang ano, Kaya lang, ang ginagawa ko, I, find, I pause for a while, I think. Tapos, I set my goals. Kailangan, kunwari, mag-e-exam kayo. Tapos, na, lahat ng stress na dyan sa paligid nyo. Yung sinabi ko kanina, you learn to ignore problems. I mean, hindi lahat ng problema ini-ignore. Pero there are some problems kasi there are, in solving problems kasi, there are, kailangan immediately masolve mo siya. Mayroon mo mga problems na kusang nawawala. You should, you should know how to, dapat matutunan yung mag-determine kung ano yung mga problems na okay lang nahayaan at, at kusang nawawala siya. At yung mga problems na kailangan mo siya agad isolve. Stress. Yun nga, hindi, ko masyadong, hindi ako masyadong ano, lupapa-apekto. Hindi kasi ako ano eh. Yung personality ko, hindi ako... Hindi dramatic. I mean, hindi ko pinagtatagal yung sama ng loob, yung mga ganun ba. Tapos, kung kaya ko namang mag-isolve ang stress sa sarili ko or pag nakausap ko ba yung tao na to or eh, mas nasolve ko yung any hindi magandang situation, matatagal ba yung stress ko, I'll do that para mabawasan yung stress. Pero yung pinaka-stress liver ko talaga yung nagkakape ko lahat. Tapos <laughs> nawawala talaga yung stress ko sa coffee. Find your comfort food. That's That's the... Most, ano, siguro, practical tip I can give you. Ang galing, ang galing. Um, natuto rin po ako, ma'am. Tama po yun. Um, maghahanapin niyo yung uh, stress reliever po ninyo. Kung sa inyo, ma'am, coffee, sa akin naman, movie. Kaso ngayon, hindi na makanood dahil ang daming trabaho. <laughs> And totoo po, ang problema is inevitable. Kaya kailangan matuto tayo mag-cope up sa mga problems na yan. And thank you so much, ma'am, kasi ang ganda nung sinabi mo na ano, Uh, what, yung intelligent people ignore, sabi niyo kanina eh. And of course, there are problems na hindi ma maiiwasan na ma-ignore. Pero coming from an, uh, a successful alum alumnus like you, ma'am, totoo po yun kasi my professor once said to me also, sabi niya, intelligent people ignore. Ayun. So thank you so much, ma'am. All right, for our third question, coming from our participant dito po sa ating Zoom meeting room, from Earl Miko ng Bitled 1-1. Ang katanungan ma'am ay papaano po i-manage yung destructive criticism po? Ignore. Ignore. You know, you're more in charge of yourself. Alam mo, at the end of the day, wala naman, kaya nga ano eh, that's, that's one thing din, kaya ako ano eh, umalis sa yung pay, hindi ko masyado nag nag nagpo-post sa Facebook kasi you know pag nagpo-post ka kasi nabasa ko lang din to sabi nila do, do post everything kunare gumrad nung gumrad dito ako sa my nag my day lang yata ako eh pero parang talaga pigil ay sarili ko nag my day ako hindi ako nagpo-post kasi not all people will be happy seeing you there you know that ayan ang sabi ko sa iyo Ang totoo, only genuinely uh, magiging genuinely happy lang sa iyo yung yung totoo na na fam fam your family or true friends but not all of them. Destructive criticism. Don't allow destructive criticism na mag ano sa iyo. Uh, alam niyo yun, yung marami sa akin eh marami marami rin ako na encounter na hindi lahat natutuwa. Of course you cannot please everyone. Tapos si iba, maraming mga negative negative comments, ganun. Kaya lang, prove to them na you're not like that, na hindi ka ganun. 
nung, nung ano din ako, nung, nung nag-aaral ako, nag, nakagraduate na ako, yung papa ko, lagi yung sinasabi, bakit pag-aaral ka pa? Yung mga ganun-ganun. Hmm, Kung siya pinapansin, bakit? Pero ako nung pinag-aaral ko. Yung mga ganun ba? You decide on yourself kasi ikaw nakakaalam ko ano yung mabuti para sa'yo, not them. Hindi sila. Ikaw lang. Yan, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, ignore. Yeah, tama, ignore. So, meron na po tayong three questions coming from, uh, two coming from our Facebook live stream at isa po galing po sa ating Zoom meeting room. Ayan, so sa mga uh, nagtanong po, i-message nyo na lamang po ako para makuha ko po ang inyo pong uh, Gcash number at isi-send po natin, namin ang inyo pong price mamaya-maya. Alright, dako po tayo sa ating trivia questions. Trivia questions about our first lecturer. Ayan, para po sa mga uh, makakakuha ng tamang sagot, makakareceive din po kayo ng 100 pesos Gcash. So, pabilisan lamang po ito. Yung iba naman, kung nakinig kayo ng mabuti. Ayan, masasagot nyo po ito. Okay, let's start. First question, first trivia question. Ano ang programa ng PhD na kinukuha ni Dr. Michelle sa CLSU? Ano ang programa ng PhD ni Dr. Michelle sa CLSU? Clue! Philosophy in blank blank. <laughs> Alright, una-unahan. Una-unahan, chine-check ko po ang ating Facebook. La Ayun, meron na pong unang nakasagot si Kian Shane De Soria. Ayun, Kian Shane De Soria. Kian Shane De Soria, De Soria. Uh, tama ang iyong sagot. Ang kinukuhang programa ni Dr. Michelle sa CLSU ay Doctor of Philosophy in Development Education. Ayun. So, paki-message na lang din po ako. Uh, o kung kilala niyo po si Ma'am Rev, uh, i-message niya na lang din po siya. Next question. Paunahan lang po ito. And, yan. Paunahan. Saan? Hindi, ano na lang. Ano ang posisyon ni Dr. Michelle sa Villanati Elementary School? Ano ang posisyon? ni Dr. Michelle sa Villanati Elementary School. <clears throat> Principal, ayan, meron na pong nakasagot from our uh, Zoom meeting room. Nauna po si John Dave Esteves. Ayan. Ay, wait lang, mali. Dapat exact. Ayan, si Mary Rose Dazo. Ang sagot po kasi ni John Dave ay principal. Dapat uh, specific. And si Me si Mary Rose Dazo ang nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Principal 2. Ayan, Principal 2. Congratulations kay Mary Rose Dazo at kay Kian. Ayan, pakimessage na lamang po ako or si Ma'am Rev or si Sir Aaron sa, sa kanila po mga Facebook account para makuha po namin ang inyo pong Gcash number. Okay, once again, Ma Mich Dr. Michelle, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo pong Uh, mga insights at mga tips para po sa ating mga estudyante at mga alumni na nakikinig po sa inyo, pong, sa inyo po ngayong umagang ito. Now let us award the Certificate of Appreciation. Allow me to read the citation first. <clears throat> All right. Central Luzon State University Alumni Relations Office Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Dr. Michelle T. Jaime for sharing her knowledge and experience experiences in order to inspire the heart of our students for a lifelong learning. Her untiring service, dedication, and commitment is a testimony of the tenacity of the competitive spirit of a model alumna of the College of Education, Central Luzon State University, and by serving as virtual testimonial lecturer. Given this 12th day of May 
2022 at the Central Luzon State University, Sign City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija. Signed by Alumni Coordinator, Elementary Education Department, Mr. Nolly De La Cruz. Alumni Coordinator, Secondary Education Department, Mr. Aaron John Castro. Alumni Coordinator, Department of Advanced Studies in Education, Dr. Jennifer V. Fahanella. Fahanella. Alumni Coordinator, College of Education, Ms. Revelyn Q. Ignacio and the Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Rehidor G. Gaboy. Ayan, bigyan nga po natin ulit ng virtual heart si Dr. Michelle T. Jaime. And para sa akin, syempre, palakpak. Maraming salamat, Dr. Michelle. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for Maraming the opportunity. Gone, ma'am. Uh, thank you for the opportunity of sharing okay. experience. Thank you, ma'am. I I believe na ang atin pong mga participants from our Facebook live stream at sa ating Zoom meeting ay maraming natutunan sa inyo po ngayong umaga na ito. Once again, Dr. Michelle T. Jaime, maraming maraming salamat po, ma'am. Until next time po. All right, before we proceed with our next lecturer, tayo po ay ma entertain ng Central Zone State University Maestro Singers para sa kanila pong uh, intermission number, ang amin pong ipepresent ay dalawang awitin na pinamagatang Paraiso at Born from the Land. Ito po ay ginamit namin ng Celestial Maestro Singers sa isang competition sa UNCCD vir uh, Virtual Choir Competition kung saan ipinapalaganap po namin ang pagmamahal sa ating mahal na kalikasan. Ayan, so tayo po ay ma-relax muna at makinig sa uh, intermission ng Celestium Astro Singers. And uh, bago ko po i-play ay hinihiling ko rin po ang inyo pong suporta sa amin pong kompetisyon. I-announce po ang mananalo bukas. So you may check our YouTube account sa, sa YouTube at mag-comment po kayo doon at i-share nyo na rin po ang aming video. Maraming salamat po. Pagbaha sa pagkakaingin sa As we reduce globe
want to know We'll always have a home A solid ground beneath our feet The earth we walk upon Build our homes upon She can provide our every need But we need to stop and look around And marvel at all its beauty So that's it. That's CLS Yuma Astro Singers. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa CLS Yuma Astro Singers. Inulit ko po, kami po ay meron pong competition na ginaganap sa kasalukuyan at i-announce po ang winner bukas. Kaya valid po po ang ating pag-share at patunood sa aming YouTube account, ang CLS Yuma Astro Singers. At pwede rin po tayong mag-comment doon, mag-like at mag-share. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. Ngayon po ay hindi na po natin patatagalin. Dumako na po tayo sa ating second speaker ngayon pong umaga po na ito. Our second testimonial lecturer. Of course, al allow me to introduce to you our second lecturer, Mr. Michael Aquino. Mr. Michael Aquino is the project proprietor and head trainer of MIMAC Training Services, a company that provides students 
professionals, corporate leaders, and non-working individuals with programs to help them succeed in their academic, professional, or personal undertakings and make them effective contributors to society. In fact, MIMAC Training Services, Services is celebrating its 10th anniversary in training and consultation this year. His clients in Manila include CEOs, actors, beauty queens, models, and other professionals. In Nueva Ecija, his company conducts personal development and leadership trainings for students. His company also offers online courses that mainly focus on communication and confidence building. He earned a Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English at, at Central Zone State University in 2001. He finished a diploma course in business at UP Diliman in 2012. He completed the academic requirements for Master of Arts in Education, English at the National Teachers College in 2016. He obtained Master in Learning and Teaching at De La Salle University in 2019. He is currently taking Master of Arts in Education, English, online from Romblon State University. He has substantial experiences in the field of education as he managed English class classes of varied levels in public and private schools. He taught English and Filipino to learners with diverse nationalities in several language institutions. He also trained professionals Recording from varied in progress. Moreover, he was one of the literacy assessors in a research project conducted by UP Center for Integrative and Development Studies in 2020. He is a resource for, for teaching and communication in schools and companies, including TV and radio shows. Indeed, he took part in the ABS-CBN's Pinoy Big Brother House where he taught Filipino to foreign talents in 2015 and 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael M. Aquino. Higyan nga po natin ng virtual clap ang ating Thank second so lecture. Much. Hi, sir. Thank you very much, Dave. Oh, just real? Am I right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good morning, and uh, once again, thank you very much. Um, can I see all the faces? Or later na? Sana makita ko sila habang nag nag-uusap tayo. <laughs> but uh, allow me to, to share. Please allow me to share my PowerPoint presentation. I can't do it right now. Uh, let me try again. Answer. Yes, okay, no po. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Dave. By the way, uh, congratulations and God bless, uh, Maestro Singers. Alam nyo, member ako ng Maestro Singers noon, pero hindi rin tumagal. Uh, sabi ni Dr. Iba, Ibarra, bakit nga ba ako nakuha? Ang sinasagot niya, hindi niya joke niya before kasi ikaw lang yung nakakaabot ng pinakamababang do. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait a second. Can you see my, my presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, po. Okay. What's your goal? Begin with the end in mind. This is one of my favorite reminders from the book entitled the, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Uh, this means that we should begin with a clear vision of our goal. Sabi nga. This habit is actually uh, a good reference when you're doing your lesson plan. Diba? Tayo magiging teacher tayo. If we want to have essential outcomes or we have learning outcomes, yun yung susundan natin. So meron tayong result na hinihintay. So in my case, actually, this is the end in my mind. Pinangarap ko talaga na magsalita dito. So pagka-graduate ko pa lang, mga ilang taon, sabi ko, gusto ko makapagsalita ako sa CLSU one day. So it's happening right now. Because I've been to my elementary schools and other universities in, uh, let's say, NUST and other universities here in Manila, but this one is very special to me. This is very close to my heart. So thank you so much, uh, Ma'am Jen uh, Fahanela. Uh, she's one of my classmates and a friend, my friend. 
And of course, uh, thank you for believing me, Ma'am Myla Lagmay Santos. She's one of my mentors. Uh, when I joined uh, Oration in NUST in 2001, ayun, uh, binuko na natin yung age natin. <laughs> so thank you so much for recognizing my accomplishments. Um, students, CED students, faculty, and alumni, my fellow alumni, good morning to everyone. And uh, I also would like to uh, say good morning to our dean, Dr. Gaboy. And of course, uh, my fellow speaker, uh, Dr. Jaime, Michelle. So kanina meron tayong Michael. Uh, Michelle, ngayon may Michael tayo. <laughs> All right, and uh, of course, Dr. Lagmay and Dr. Fahanela uh, and other uh, alumni who are watching right now on Facebook. And especially, of course, yung mga kasama natin dito sa Zoom meeting. Please allow me to share my experiences, my journey from CLSU to the place where I am right now. I hope that you learn from my experiences as I learned from them. I want to share this with you. Discover your passion and purpose in life. Like a typical kid, I wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, or a broadcast journalist. But everything changed. So when I entered CLSU in 1997, uh, actually I wanted to take Bachelor of Business Administration, major in marketing. I really wanted to be an entrepreneur noon, noon pa. So sabi ko, magiging proprietor ako, magiging CEO ako, magiging manager ako. Parang gusto ko nang magkaroon ng company. But Things changed. The story changed again. <laughs> I eventually took Bachelor of Secondary major in English, Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. My minor is Filipino. And uh, right after graduation, I was offered a job in uh, San Jose City. Uh, it's a private school in San Jose City. Because uh, maganda sa CLSU before, merong job fair, di ba? Tapos yung dean, magkakaroon siya ng mga recommendation. Ibibigyan niya yung mga pangalan ng mga estudyante. And then I was lucky to be chosen. I was chosen uh, sa English department na isang school, ng private school. But... Uh, I decided not to take it kasi sabi nga nung, nung lolo ko tsaka nanay ko, hintayin ko daw yung result ng LET, licensure examination for teachers. Tapos maganda raw sa public. So nagpahinga muna ako. I rested for a while kasi before you could just get LET, licensure examination exam, for oh, ng once lang. No? Ngayon yata merong April and then uh, itong nakaraan lang uh, the results uh, came uh, came uh, um came out and so congratulations sa mga nakapasa no? and then uh in 2001 i was given an item so that's my first job in public school in a public school uh, i enjoyed teaching very much in fact I still consider it yung public school ah, yung experience ko sa public school i still consider it one of my best trainings in the field. Sobrang napakaganda ng training ko. But eventually, I left in 2004. I came here in Manila. I worked in a call center. And then uh, I also worked in a family-owned business, uh, not ours. Uh, I was the assistant to the president of a certain company. And then I also managed some of their stores in an amusement park here in Manila. Uh, but I felt empty. Sabi ko, the job did not give me a sense of fulfillment. I missed teaching. You know? So I went back to teaching. Uh, nagturo ako sa mga language schools and then I went to different colleges from one school to another, merong high school. And then, hindi pa rin ako naging masaya. So you see, I had a very, very complicated relationship with teaching. I resigned <laughs> and I started to work as a freelance teacher. 
until in 20, 2012, I decided to take a short course, uh, a business course in UP Diliman. It's called Manager's Course. Uh, the MBA, it's a mini MBA course uh, that covers management, finance, marketing, uh, production, and human resource. Before graduation at UP Diliman, MIMAC Training Services was born. So Michael Manansala Aquino Training Services was born. And I was blessed to realize my, my passion and my purpose. This goal was to, to start. This, this goal actually started in CLSU when I was in CLSU and stayed within me. And all my experiences and all the challenges I faced led me to this realization. Thank God, actually next month, we are celebrating our 10th anniversary. The logo actually is a representation of stages of construction of knowledge. So tayo mga teacher, di ba? Tingitindan din natin ganun. So my students, our learners uh, come to MyMap. So they connect their new knowledge with their prior knowledge. And they create new meanings. So ganun, nakakapag-construct sila ng meaningful ideas from their prior knowledge and their new knowledge. So ganun natin tinitingnan yung mga estudyante. This has become my passion teaching, and my mission to inspire and help others to become effective contributors to our society. So how do I focus on my goal? The end in mind. So I want you to also do this. I hope that you can also do this. Strengthen your network and credentials. Invest in yourself. Tama yung sinabi ni Ma'am ni Ma Jaime kanina. You have to study. So I studied at UP Diliman before I started my, my business. And that made me realize na kaya ko pala. And then the students, the, my classmates collaborated with me. And they gave me pieces of advice na kaya mo yan, ituloy mo na. Because before, my plan was to really establish or put up my company in 2015. So napabilis siya because of the knowledge I gained, uh, the, the experiences, the, the network that I uh, have, I had in in at UP Diliman. So my classmates actually were the ones who gave me my, my clients, my first clients. So uh, because my classmates were uh, managers, owners of businesses, so they are from different industries. So I got clients through my classmates. Okay, while studying, kakaumpisa la pa lang, nabigyan nila ako ng kliyente. And then, uh, hanggang sa, through word of mouth, uh, nagkaroon ng mga trainings. And uh, I trained employees and people from their companies, sa mga company ng mga kaklasiko. So, you have to build your strong relationship with other people. So, these were my company trainings. I had my corporate trainings in different industries. Ito na. Si Fabio Ide and Daniel Matsunaga were my students. So, um, and there are still, uh, sometimes they still ask my, my uh, to, they, they still collaborate with me. And actually, they have become my marketing arm. So, and dami ko rin naging sudyante sa kanila, uh, mula sa kanila. And also, I had corporate accounts from them. And uh, kung narinig yun silang ng Filipino, they were my students. So I taught Filipino uh, to these uh, personalities. Zanjo Marudo, from 2014, mula sa Dream Dad ng ABS-CBN, hanggang ngayon, kung nanonood kayo ng The Broken Marriage Vow, pwede niyong isend sa akin yung tanong niyo at sasabihin ko sa inyo kung sino-sino 
ako ano mangyayari sa ending. <laughs> Just kidding. So I worked with some celebrities and actors sa sa ano sa pero wag niyong totohanin yan kasi mawawalan tayo ng trabaho. So uh, sa ABS-CBN and thank you also. Uh, alam niyo ba I was in uh, one of my classmates sent me uh, sent to ABS-CBN my number. Actually, it was queer well writer sa Samala Ala before. And do, sa CLSU kasama ko siya sa oration eh. Siya yung sa pagkukwento. So see, uh, build your strong relationship. Build a strong professional relationship with people. So uh, actually, she he also introduced uh, Bea Alonso sa akin. And so nagkaroon na rin ako ng mga ibang sudyante through... Uh, Zanjo Marudo. And now we are working on something. So sana lagi niyo abangan yung mga project. Nag-plug pa ako talaga. And then of course, we have Catriona Gray. I taught Filipino also uh, to Catriona Gray before she joined Miss World in 2016 and before she left for Thailand in 2018. Uh, Eventually, she won. Uh, she became our Miss Universe to 2018. And this is my experience at PBB. I entered PBB in 2015 and 2017. So yan. Uh, talagang nakapiring siya. Pag, gising, pag, pag mulat ng mata mo, nandun ka na sa loob. Hindi mo ka ala, alam kung saan ka nagpunta <laughs> or dumaan. So uh, I got these uh, clients through my strong relationships with other people. So, sabi nga nila, wala talagang self-made minsan, ano? Kaya, you need to collaborate with other people. Hindi ka rin makakakaroon ng blessing minsan. Or, uh, syempre, you have, uh, you have to, to, to study, you have to hard, uh, work hard. But there are people who will also help you. So, relationship is very important. And then I was invited sa UP Dilimans. Meron silang radio doon. And this one, uh, it is uh, it was Lucy Torres' show sa GMA. So I was invited as an educator. We talked about um, communications at work during that time. So ito na. Develop your strategy. So uh, balik tayo dun sa sinasabi kong begin with the end in mind. No? Gusto ko lang ising it. So alam ko kayo after this, when you graduate from CLSU, kung mag-aaral kayo sa CLSU o kung saan nyo man piliin na university sa susunod, uh, ganito yung ginawa ko para matapos ko agad yung master's ko. First time pa lang. So begin with the end in mind. Parang first week pa lang, pinicturan ko na lahat doon sa bulletin board. Ano ba yung mga dapat kong tandaan? Yung mga... Uh, rubrics para sa defense, yung mga rubrics para sa mga requirements. So, in two years, medyo mabilis kasi doon kasi trimestral. So, natapos. Pero talagang super pagod, jaga, and uh, sipag, and, at maraming pagdarasal. <laughs> so, you have to develop uh, your, your strategy. Uh, so, um, learn, uh, study, So, in order to maintain and attract clients, so dapat you have to uh, improve, increase your skills. And you also attend trainings na makakatulong sa inyong career. So, these are my clients. I was invited to different schools, uh, universities. So, meron tayo dito. Actually, ito, natutuwa din ako, Agriculture and Food Technology Business Incubator. Meron sila mga entrepreneurs dyan sa CLSU. So, I talked about presentation skills. And then, NUST, uh, other schools in Nueva Ecija and here in Manila like FEU. So ABS-CBN was my client is also was also my client pero ngayon alam niyo naman and then we had I had uh collaboration I collaborated with different with different uh companies from entertainment industry also and Wakol is a garment uh company uh automobile uh Corporation, Centro, Telstra is an international telecommunication company um, from Australia, but they have their quarters, uh, headquarters here in Manila. 
Ayan. So I uh, I was blessed to work with uh, these companies, and also I was invited. Um, we had corporate trainings for uh, for these uh, companies, as I said, and in in addition, we have collaborated with foreign clients from 30 countries here in Manila. So, you know, there are uh, many talents from abroad, uh, from other countries here in Manila. Um, and they are working here and they want to study Filipino or English. So we had face-to-face or physical classes with them. And through online naman with Filipinos and foreigners, uh, we collaborated or we had students from eight countries, including USA, Germany, Canada, and uh, Australia. This one, giving back to community. So I want you to also learn uh, how to give back to the community, share your were sent by a mother from um, San Francisco. Uh, uh, th- that's where I live, San Francisco. So there's a school there, San Francisco Elementary School. That's where I finished one, two, three. Uh, the first three years uh, ng elementary. So because wala pang ano nun eh, four, five, and six. So lumipat ako ng school. So during the first months of pandemic, I thought something na ano ba yung pwede kong magawa? Kasi parang alam nyo, sa daming problema nun, biglang dumating yung pandemic, sabi ko parang nakakahiya na mong mag-work tapos uh, mag-iisipin ko agad na magtrabaho ko. So I thought of something to do. I decided to call two schools in my hometown, Santo Domingo, and one in Talavera because I know the the principal in, in Talavera in one of the schools there. And then I called teachers from my primary school. So I decided to give ECQ nga ang itinawag ko dito, Enhanced Communication Quality. So I gave students conversation classes for free. So share your blessings with others. Uh, share your time with others. You can give free trainings. You can collaborate. Uh, minsan, you don't just ask for referrals, di ba? Pwedeng ikaw rin yung magbigay ng work sa mga kakilala mo, pero pwede mo rin silang i-recommend. So that's part of giving back. And you can give pieces of advice to people who want to start. Kung, kung nandun na kayo sa panahon na yun, kapag uh, nandun na kayo, uh, I-share natin yung alam natin sa iba. And uh, participate in activities that support quality education. Katulad nga nung nabanggit kanina, yung, uh, kasi I, I joined a certain uh, project. I was a literacy assessor. Talagang para sa bayan. Pupunta ka sa school, uh, parang pamasahe lang yung ibibigay sa'yo. Uh, minsan ang hirap makakuha ng mga volunteers then halos na gagawa. Kasi nga, minsan, we need to survive. Uh, we, I'm not, uh, I have nothing against naman. Pero sometimes we give time, no? We give back to the community, especially sa mga ganitong pagkakataon. Uh, it's a study uh, that aimed to uh, improve the educational system in the Philippines. And charity, of course. So you can help the sick and victims of calamities such as typhoons, earthquakes. So be a volunteer. All right. So um, I chose a simple uh, office. I put up uh, my main office in Talavera. This is where we conducted summer classes uh, with kids and teens. We also trained some adult uh learners here. So look at the faces of these students. Uh, this one, uh, they are very close to my heart. No? Kasi look at these uh, kids. Uh, they are starting to build their communication skills and they are building their confidence. So sila yung mga sagot ko dun sa pagtinanong ako, para kanino ka pa bumabangon? <laughs> Kasi um, uh, I stay here in Manila and nag-aaral ako nun. Uh, 
this one, uh, these pictures were taken before pandemic, no, 2019. And talagang bumabangon ako like 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. Minsan babalik ako kasi kinabukasan, ano eh. May mga time na hindi ako natutulog eh. Pero huwag niyong gagawin yun na Napaka-unhealthy talaga. Like, uh, nag-work ako sa my map, tapos uwi ako nung Neve Ecija, tapos hindi alam nung, nung salasal. Naligo lang ako para mag-submit ako nung deadline na kasi ng mga... <laughs> <laughs> na mga requirements. So, mga apat na beses ko yata ginawa yun, pero huwag niyong gagawin yan. Hindi siya maganda. <laughs> Ayun. But again, ito yung mga nagtutulak sa atin, ano? may passion tayo eh, sa teaching. So, nilagay na natin yung office natin sa Talavera. Alam natin na nabibigay natin yung servisyo at pareho nang binibigay natin dito. Pero may mas maliit na uh, may, meron ako mga ano dito eh, may mga nagbibigay ako ng discount tapos meron mga deserving student na nakakuha sila ng libring training ganyan so I did these classes uh, with the help of equally talented and dedicated people so I I got teachers from UP Diliman and uh, from CLSU, of course, kung nakikita nyo, si, kung kilala nyo to, si Emmanuel Agustin to, and, uh, she, he worked sa Mayumac, so nagkapasalamat din ako sa kanya kasi uh, it's a dedication no? he, he, na magturo sa mga ganitong bata. And then um, we had summer classes uh, until pandemic came. Ayan. So, we had graduations. Ayan. Bago mag, ano, from, from 2015, yung nilagay ko yung office ko dyan. Kasi yung office ko nandito sa Manila before. Eh. Talagang pangarap ko ilipat yung office ko sa Talavera, sa Nueva Ecija. So, yun, dumating nga ang pandemic. Uh, so, nagkaroon ng mga challenges. But, we have to be open to changes. Di ba? So, katulad nun, may mga darating na mga problema sa inyo, challenges that you're going to face after your graduation, during your uh, teaching, or kung ano man uh, na career na nanonood na ibang alumni natin from different colleges. So, uh, I mean, students from different colleges, kung nandun na kayo, so maging open kayo sa changes kasi may mga dumarating katulad na pandemic na hindi natin inaasahan. So what we did, uh, so we continued to innovate. Buti na lang asanay tayo sa online classes. But of course, we added some features. So uh, mas nagkaroon kami ng mga, kasi i-adjust mo rin yun eh. Uh, yung mga PowerPoint presentation pa lang. Yung mga, kung dati hindi ka nagpapa-add sa Facebook, meron na kaming mga bagong gastos, mga ganun. So marami kaming mga changes na ginawa. So the pandemic has affected all of the uh, all industries and some even stopped their operation, diba? So uh, fortunately in 2020 in July 2020 I decided to to uh, resume pero online classes na after nung ginawa kong uh, free classes for kids in Talavera and Talavera and Nueva Ecija. So we were able to focus on on uh, giving online courses. So the situation is getting uh, bigger, uh, getting better and better now. Uh, bumabalik na tayo. So we will resume um, physical, uh, face-to-face classes and trainings next year. So magkakaroon ulit kami ng training sa Talavera and other places, mga physical classes this time. So we will continue to collaborate with program developers, trainers, as we focus on our mission to help others become effective contributors, of course, of our society. Uh, my dear CEV students, I know in your future career, you will encounter a lot of problems, a lot of challenges. But don't yet let these challenges keep you from achieving them, uh, from achieving your goal. Huwag kayong matakot. Don't be afraid. Believe in yourself and always keep the faith. Uh, but again, always remember, you have to begin with the end in mind. No? And make it happen. Let us all continue, dear students, to honor our university's legacy. 
the core values of CLSU and its principles. Always strive for quality and excellence and uphold the truth. Thank you very much. Yay! Thank you so much, Sir Michael Aquino. Palakpakan po natin, bigyan po natin ng virtual club si Sir Michael. Maraming salamat po, Sir, sa nakaka-inspire so po na inyo pong lecture. Actually, I've been reading comments po sa ating comment section sa ating Facebook live stream. Nakakabasa po, ako ng, <laughs> nakakabasa po ako ng mga gagandang feedbacks and ganun din po sa inyo pong uh, appearance. Sabi po ng isa nating viewer, mas pogi si Sir Michael Kay, kay Zanjo Marudo. <laughs> Sana huwag niyang mabasa yan. <laughs> Ayan, thank you Sir Michael. Hindi totoo of yan. course. <laughs> And yung movie daw po, ay yung series daw po, baka pwede na daw po magtanong yung ibang students. <laughs> okay Sir. Ng work. <laughs> yeah, thank you Sir Michael. And ang natutunan ko kay Sir Michael na napakaganda is you create a strong network. Napakaganda nun kasi... Uh, you collaborate with with uh, some people and yung mga kahinaan, yung mga weaknesses natin individually, pwede nilang punan and they will help you to grow. And thank you so much once again, Sir Michael, kasi marami po kaming natutunan. At dadako thank na po so tayo much. ngayon sa ating open forum. I know meron pong mga katanungan ng ating mga estudyante ngayon pong umaga na ito. So mag-entertain po tayo ng three students na magtatanong at meron na po tayong isang question coming from ayan, tatlo na po. Okay na po. Ayan. Our first question uh, will be coming from Joseph Edralin Luis Pablo. Ang katanungan po sir ay how important is character and consistency in your passion to the success in your career goals? Ulitin ko po. How important is character and consistency in your passion to the success in your career goals? Okay. Uh, it's very important, no? Kasi uh, it will give you the direction. So dapat nakafocus ka doon sa goal mo and yung character mo lahat nandun. Sabi nga, I always think of begin with the end in mind, no? Lagi kong tinitingnan, ano ba yung goal ko? And then, what are the activities that I need to do in order to be there to achieve my goal, to achieve my purpose? So lahat, pati yung character mo, ano ba yung dapat na magiging pag-uugali mo toward that certain goal? So malaki yung ginagampanan ng character and consistency ng pag-achieve natin dun sa goal natin. And I also want to to uh, to answer that with PMER. So, lagi yung isipin kasi yung PMER yun yung planning, monitoring, evaluation, and reflection. No, so you plan, you monitor, and you evaluate, and you reflect, and you do your 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 action of plan, your 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 plan of action. So, kasama din doon, when you're doing that, you are actually processing metacognition. So, you understand how you think and you are willing to change for the better in order for you to achieve your goal. Yun. Sana right. nasagot ko yung tanong. <laughs> I, I'm sure, sir, nasagot po ang katanungan. Next, sir. Third question from Lara May Lorenzo. Building... Ah, second question muna po pala tayo from Lawrence Elcano. The question, sir, is was it harder to be a student before than it is now? Uh, siguro sa experience ko, okay. ah, okay. Kung mas, if it's harder to mas be a student Mas mahirap daw ba ang pagiging before? estudyante noon kaysa ngayon? Ah, uh, Yes. No, because we have the technology, but of course you have to have your mga studenting and although the information uh, because we have technology, you get answers uh, from everywhere, like in an instant. But uh, you have to uh, be able to uh, improve critical critical thinking as well. So ngayon mas mahirap yung ganun kasi may mga banta ng mga wrong information so you have to be critical thinkers. Mahirap din yung maraming choices, maraming pinagkukunan. 
So, in a way, mahirap na on kasi parang walang masyadong info na binibigay. Ngayon, madali, pero you have to be vigilant. You have to assess things. Maraming resources, but it's difficult also to know the truth. But you have critical thinking skills. You have to exercise those uh, skills, your knowledge, kung paano makukuha yung truth. So, mahirap na madali, sa tingin ko. But you have the tools to overcome challenges. Thank you, Sir Michael, for that uh, wonderful answer. Yes, tama. I agree, sir. Uh, kasi meron na tayong technology ngayon. So, mas nadadalian ng mga estudyante natin ngayon na makapag-aaral. And, ayan. So, for our third question, coming from Lara May Lorenzo. Building a strong relationship seems so important to help us personally and help us in our own careers and professions. My question is, what is or are the tips that you can give to an introvert type of person to establish a genuine relationship? Introvert. Okay. Alam mo, meron akong ano eh. I, I have uh, different... I, I have friends who are quiet and they enjoy uh, more uh, when they do things alone. No? So you have to be just uh, be open to changes, be open-minded, and uh, you have to establish your goal in order for you to be there. So ano ba yung mga dapat mong gawin? Kailangan tanggapin mo, you have to accept things that you need to change. So unang-una, meron kang goal, establish your goal, and uh, ano ba yung dapat mong gawin? So you have to improve your relationship with other people. So, syempre, lalabas ka sa comfort zone mo. Kailangan, don't be afraid to to uh, to meet people. Don't be afraid to start a conversation. You have to train yourself. So, you have to invest yourself in yourself in order to, to uh, really improve or have the skills that you don't have. Kasi ganun tayo, eh, di ba? It's a learning process. So, uh, you will achieve in no time when you accept, when you know your goal, when you, when you accept that you need to do things step by step. So, magiging ganun ka rin. And you will just focus on those steps para mapunta ka sa goal mo. And uh, you will be able to build relationship with other people. Yun. So what I'm trying to say is important na meron kang skills, uh, na, na goal. Ano ba yung mga gagawin mo to achieve that? So one of those things to improve yourself. Thank you, sir. Invest in yourself. Ayan, napakaganda. Thank you, sir. Now, dako na po tayo sa ating trivia questions para sa ating mga participants, sa ating Zoom meeting room at sa ating mga participants na, na, na nasa Facebook live stream. Siyempre, merong... Merong advantage yung ating mga nasa Zoom meeting room dahil merong uh, latency sa ating Facebook live stream. Meron tayong two questions <laughs> at ang makakasagot po ng tama ay makakakuha ng 100 pesos Gcash. Of course, yung mga nagtanong din po kanina, meron din po kayong 100 pesos Gcash. Okay, so paki-message na lamang po ako or paki-chat na lang po sa ating chat box para makuha ko po ang inyong pong Gcash number. All right. Trivia question number 1. Ano ang kinuhang bachelor's degree ni Sir Michael? Ano ang kinuhang bachelor's degree ni Sir Michael? Besides English, ayan, may nauna na po, napakabilis ng kamay. John Ray Marticio. Ayan, congratulations kay John Ray Marticio. Ayan, nakuha niya po ang unang kasagutan. All right, next question. Kailan o ano yung mga taon na nagturo si Sir Michael Aquino sa ABS-CBN Pinoy Big Brother? So, dalawa po yung taon na ito. Kailan at anong, ta uh, anong taon? Ayun, from Rosemary Collado. Ayan, mayroon na pong nakasagot. Rosemary Collado, 2015 and 2017. Tama Sir Michael, ano po? 
2015. Yes. Ayan, okay. napakahusay, sir. Uh, thank you so much po once again, Sir Michael Aquino. At congratulations din sa ating mga students na nakasagot ng tama at nag-participate. Um, may I, before I, I award the certificate, may I request every, everyone to open your camera at magkakaroon po tayo ng photo op pamaya-maya after I award the certificate. Allow me to read the citation. Central Zone State University Alumni Relations Office Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Mr. Michael M. Aquino for sharing his knowledge and experiences in order to inspire the heart of our students for a lifelong learning. His untiring service, dedication, and commitment is a testimony of the tenacity of the competitive spirit of a model alumna of the College of Education, Central Zone State University, and by serving as virtual testimonial lecturer given this day of May 2, 2022, at the Central Zone State University, Science City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija, signed by the alumni coordinators from elementary, secondary, DASE, and the College of Education, and Dr. Rehdor G. Gaboy, the Dean of the College of Education. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Sir Michael M. Aquino. Napakarami po namin natutunan po sa inyo. Uh, bigyan nga po natin ng virtual clap ang ating second speaker. Yan. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, sir. To all of you. And meron pa po rin po kong nababasa sa ating comment section, sir, na nag-appreciate po sa inyo. Maraming salamat daw po. Thank you, sir. Ayan. Thank I you love so you, much. sir. Este, thank you po. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi po ng ating mga viewers. Ayan. All right. So ngayon po ay mag-proceed na po tayo sa ating photo op habang hinihintay po natin ang ating mga participants sa ating Zoom ay... May I re remind everyone na ang atin pong registration link and evaluation form ay nasa ating chat box at nasa ating comment section. So please, kayo po ay uh, inaanyayahan ng aming uh, mga kasamahan na mag-fill mag -fill out po sa atin pong registration or attendance form, including po yung ating centralized evaluation link. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. All right, so may I request... Sir Aaron or Ma'am Rev para po i-facilitate ang ating photo op. Ah, uh, no, wait lang po. Ma'am Michelle, andiyan pa po ba kayo? Dr. Michelle? Yes po, yes po. Ayun. Ma'am, pwede pong mag-request na mag-open po tayo ng camera para po sa ating photo op. Ah, uh, si Ma'am Jennifer. Ayun, si Ma'am Jennifer. Okay, si Ma'am Sa ating mga students na hindi nakapag-download ng ating uh, virtual background, okay lang. Uh, open lang tayo ng ating mga camera para maka-join kayo sa ating photo op. Sige po, Ma'am Rev. Page 1 po muna tayo. Uh, may smile po lahat. 1, 2, 3, smile. Next page po. Smile po. Open po lahat ng camera natin. One, two, three, smile. Next po. One, two, three, Sir Jess. Okay na po, Sir Jess. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Rev. Again, once again, thank you, Dr. Michelle and Sir Michael Aquino. Maraming salamat po sa inyo pong uh, mga itinuro sa amin, binigay na tips, at uh, para kami po ay ma-improve sa aming mga sarili. Once again, may I request everyone, bigyan po natin ng virtual heart ang ating mga lecturers ngayong umaga na ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, uh, to close us dito po sa ating program, May I call in the alumni coordinator from the Department of Advanced Studies in Education, Dr. Jennifer B. Fahanella. Good morning, everyone. First of all, allow me to thank our two distinguished alumni who served as our speakers today. Dr. Michelle T. Jaime and Mr. Michael M. Aquino. We are beyond grateful for having you this morning. Your life stories really inspired us all to keep on moving towards achieving our goals in life. 
For in the end, we know that all our sacrifices, tears, struggles, and disappointments will be replaced with joys, achievement, and success. Allow me also to thank the working committees, the our coordinators, Sir Noli, Sir EJ, and Ma'am Rev, Sir Jesril, our MC, the University Gender and Development Office, our Dean, Department Chairs, Faculty and Staff, and alumni, and of course, students for raising this affair. May the takeaways of this event continue to inspire us all throughout the years. God bless everyone. Keep safe. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Fahanela. Bigyan nga po natin ng virtual heart si Dr. Jennifer. Maraming salamat po, ma'am. All right. So paalala lamang po ulit bago po tayo magtapos sa ating mga participants from Facebook live stream at sa ating Zoom meeting room. Paki-fill paki-fill in na paki-fill out na po ang ating mga forms, sa ating registration at evaluation form at ito po ay importante. Okay, ayan. All right. Okay, so our program have come to an end but the lifelong learnings will forever remain in our hearts and minds. We, the students, alumni, and faculty members of CLSU will, for, will forever be grateful to our alma mater who have molded us and shaped us to become a better citizen and successful person in this world full of compet competitions. With that being said, may I invite everyone to sing our CLSU hymn loud and proud. Hap Once again, happy 115th founding anniversary CLSU. Mabuhay CLSU ones. Once again, thank you so much sa ating mga participants from our Zoom meeting link at sa ating 400 peak viewers sa ating Facebook live stream. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo pong pag-participate. Students, mag-iingat yung lahat, be safe, and mag-aral tayo ng mabuti. Sir Michael, Ma'am Michelle, maraming maraming salamat po at sa organizers ng ating event ngayon pong maga. Once again, happy 115th anniversary Central Zone State University.